Fusion House recognizes sometimes that you need to get your data someplace else. And so there are about 20 different webhooks that you can sign up for. And so if you needed to pull login information away from, um, you know, in near real time from FusionAuth into some other system, you can have that other system be configured to accept a webhook from FusionAuth. And when someone logs in or someone registers, FusionAuth can fire off all that rich JSON data to this other system and then they can do, uh, you know, it can do what it needs to do, right? Whether that's, yeah. you know, updating other systems or, you know, compiling stuff for analytics. So, yeah. So that, yeah. that web system is particularly useful where you've got a bit of a legacy system like WordPress that has a defined user system. So, I mean, um, if you were using something like a Laravel where you can have your own entirely custom user authentication system and make it work exactly as you want, you're free to use FusionAuth entirely. With WordPress, particularly if you're managing editorial users and folks who have access to the admin panel, when someone's rule changes in FusionAuth, the webhooks to push that out and say, this user needs to be updated, mm -hmm. comes from a trusted source. Here are the keys we need to pass to prove it came from this. It's a fantastic way of managing that and making it happen. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that during your demo, it was bi-directional, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it appeared to be, which, and so you implement that using webhooks as part of it? Yeah. That's awesome. 